How about we try halflings turn into black holes? Doesn't sound all that impressive, right? Like, we've seen black holes in this game before. Every time the Grim Reaper dies, he turns into a black hole. We had the Void Archer would shoot black holes. So, you're just kind of more of the same there, Mr. Hobbit. I know you're probably tired of me crapping all over you, but if you're just gonna pop into a little inky spurt, then why exactly should I care? Uh, what? What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we're gonna continue taking a look at the Bugs DLC. Now, some of you guys might remember the last time, we shot units into space on giant rockets, weighed down wobbly horses with metal balloons, and stacked mammoths to the moon. And that may seem like a lot, but we're only just getting started. We'll start things off with a great recommendation from you guys. Like, I don't know why I didn't think of this last episode, but I got a lot of comments on that video saying, why don't you try bigger fireworks with tiny units? Because if the weapons don't scale down, we should still have abnormally large rockets and even tinier units to fit on them. We could fit an entire halfling in one of these things, or, or a quarterling, technically. I don't know, the math doesn't matter, it's not rocket science. All that matters is that we have at least one success? I mean, you're supposed to go up and not out. You're gonna be you know, space exploring hobbits, not intercontinental missiles. <laughs> Whatever, they're Russia's explosive furry footed problem now. This, woo, this is not going according to plan. They're so, they're so small <laughs> that you either miss them entirely or they're gone in the blink of an eye. There's no middle ground. I gotta, oh no, don't, don't parade them around. Come on. <laughs> NASA definitely doesn't have to deal with crap like this, right? <laughs> I want to see just one of them get hit with a rocket so that I can compare size. Here we go. Yeah, you could totally fit in there. We could put a little seat in there and everything. You'd be good to go. Now, would somebody please put this idiot out of his misery? Oh my god. They're like ballista bolts now. That is how insanely big they are. But this hobbit is gonna win. He's, he's gonna completely win. There's no... Oh, never mind. I mean, he's still a winner. It's just a, a winner on a different planet. Another unit that a lot of people wanted to see blast off was the Grim Reaper. I don't know why, I, I guess because Space Reaper sounds incredibly cool. <laughs> Best band name ever. We're gonna keep the units tiny, keep the rockets big. I get the feeling they're gonna need all the firepower they can get because he is a tough boy. Oh man. <laughs> I really like the limp tentacles. I almost said limp testicles for some reason. Is that a Freudian slip? He's gone. He, he's just completely, yep, he is. Okay. What? Oh, he's coming back to Earth. He is gonna be pissed. No, never mind. He missed. <laughs> I was gonna say, if he comes back and lands, we are all screwed. The only other unit I got a lot of requests to see was the wheelbarrow. And it makes sense because it's three individual units and a cart. So it's like its own little space shuttle. I don't know if Roid Rage Bob Ross is gonna be able to hold onto the back or steer in all reality, but I am very excited to find out. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Well, Big Bobby is gone. But he left the spaceship behind. There goes the wheel. Where are the passengers? Did they just... I think they bailed. Now you guys have a real problem because that is definitely not up to code. And I have no doubt that the giant chisel-headed warriors are gonna come for you. Oh, and they're throwing huge apples as well. Look at the size of him. Is he normally that big? It's hard to tell. The scale on everything is completely ruined. I just want to see someone get beamed with an apple. Oh, come on. You're so close. Hit the guy with four eyes. What the hell? This is just getting weirder and weirder. Stop aiming over his head. What's wrong with you? He's a little smaller now. Come on. This guy is seriously pissing me off. 
Like, he's thrown an entire orchard at them and can't manage to hit anything. Come on. I just want to see one apple. Dude, one apple to the face. They're not even moving. I don't know if they're alive. They might just be propped up by their bows. And you're both gone. <laughs> you guys had every opportunity to win this. Oh, my God. It's unbearable. Either way, I'm sure we'll win now any second. He just needs to land on whatever moon he's reaching. Are we good? Did anybody survive? Nope. Nope. That's how NASA rolls. Moving on to another bug, we're going to try all unit spin. And I have no idea how this could possibly work. Like, how exactly is a shield bearer or an archer or a catapult going to spin? Like, even the mace spinners have a hard time spinning in this game. So I get the feeling this is going to be one of the most broken battles we've ever seen. Can you call this a battle? It's more of a breakdancing competition. It's so hard to follow everything that's happening. Like, leave it to tabs to turn the priests into pole dancers and minotaurs into Beyblades. Well, the king is definitely having an easy enough time other than that broken arm he's got. How exactly are the ballistas supposed to do it? They're just doing 360 no scopes right now. They're, they're showing off. That's all that this is. I would normally hope that they would take down the king, but I get the feeling there's slim odds of that happening. Come on, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. You, you can outdance him any day. Just break it down. It's so incredibly stupid. Oh, crap. They've got a lot more units left. Oh, Zeus is down. No, no, that that is not good. The king gets so much more momentum behind his swing when he spins. He's just throwing out Hail Marys. Was he picking up the ballista and spinning with it on his head? You gotta give him style points for that. How about we try Vikings versus the Dynasty? And again, I know this is like probably some kind of Chinese proverb, but if you do faction versus faction, it's difficult to follow the action. But I really want to see every single unit spin, but I can't cover them all one by one during a video. So this is how it's going to work. We've got boats, we've got dragons, we've got watches. How could they possibly spin? Oh, the answer is not well. We've got a whole lot of arrows all over the place. The boats, um... Yeah, that's not really a spin, guys. That was more of a kickflip? An attempt at a kickflip? Either way. I don't think the dragon spun either. I think the people holding the poles spun. Poles just kind of stay stationary. Go figure. The Vikings would be able to pull this off. Uh, maybe. Actually, spinning ninjas is how it's pretty dangerous. Again, awesome band name. Oh, they're definitely gonna pull this off. Are you serious? I thought for sure the dynasty was done. There were so many Vikings left, but I mean, they're already victory humping. Good for you guys. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. If every unit can spin, does that mean that every unit can turn into a tornado? Like, could cheerleaders turn other cheerleaders into tornadoes? Or more importantly, could we have a wobbly horse tornado? Because that's something I've needed in my life for a very long time. <laughs> it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's everything I've ever wanted. I feel so bad for that rider right now. Uh, Did the horse die? The cheerleaders made the horse into the tornado and the rider was just hanging on for dear life. I was going to say vomiting in that suit of armor must suck. <laughs> but it probably doesn't suck nearly as much as getting turned inside out by a bunch of dizzy spinning hobbits. Oh no. This is a great victory for all of us. Way to go, buds. I almost hate when I come up with these open-ended questions because now I want to see every single unit turn into a tornado. But again, I can't do that because the video would be hundreds of minutes long. So we're just going to try the biggest units and maybe even turn some cheerleaders into tornadoes. Even though I don't think cheerleaders cheer for cheerleaders. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is aggressive. The tornado is so little, but he's so big. It is just 
fists flying around. Like, he's tossing them around. That's the big takeaway here. It's not necessarily the tornado that's doing the work. It's just bringing him around to land a major roundhouse kick to these poor little hobbits. You know what? They had it coming. I still have that video demonetized and I still hate them for it. I honestly wonder what happened if I took control of this. Like if- Oh, watching it in slow motion is so much worse. <laughs> Look at his poor warping body. Oh, that is not something I needed to see today. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're in control. We're in complete and total control. I promise. Everything is fine. I I gotta I gotta let go. I gotta let go. It's gonna make me throw up. Can we just call this a victory? Honestly, it could take him a hundred years to punch every one of these things. He's trying his best, but it's it's just too absurd. I wonder if we can make an aerostorm tornado. Like technically, Artemis is gonna be cheered up, so she's gonna be firing faster than she already does. But then she's also gonna be spinning, so she'll be firing in all directions and a tornado. So is it just gonna be a, a tornado vomiting copious amounts of arrows? I, I can keep my fingers crossed that that's the case. She's definitely gonna do something. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much what I hoped for. I, I kinda wanted more arrows to be honest, but I really like the fact that she's just holding on to these hay balers or they're holding on to her crap. Probably shouldn't have chosen them. I thought she's just gonna kill anything instantly, so I need something that's got a little bit of protection, but it turns out they're her kryptonite. You guys know I had to do it. I'm pretty sure we've done this before. 99% sure at one point there was a mod that let me make Snuffy spin. We turned him into a tornado. It was real weird, but now that it's officially coming from tabs, I'm curious how exactly they're going to work. <laughs> I think the answer is not well. <laughs> They've got little tiny tornadoes coming out of their butts and then they just kind of flop around. Like the tornadoes aren't proportional. I don't know why that's the case. When you spin up like a Da Vinci tank, the tornado is gigantic or even Red Jade. But with these guys, it's really more of a swirling fart. <laughs> They're trying their best, okay? <laughs> How are, whoa. Oh, we actually had a cheerleader tornado there for a second, a little one. So maybe they can cheer each other on. Weird. How about we try halflings turn into black holes? Doesn't sound all that impressive, right? Like we've seen black holes in this game before. Every time the Grim Reaper dies, he turns into a black hole. We had the Void Archer would shoot black holes. So you're just kind of more of the same there, Mr. Hobbit. I know you're probably tired of me crapping all over you, but if you're just gonna pop into a little inky spurt, then why exactly should I care? Uh, what? What just happened? I'm gonna try that again, except for this time, we'll run it in slow motion and I'll try to get up nice and close to see exactly what is happening. He dives in, he gets bonked and shot a lot. And then, yeah, he just does the Grim Reaper shtick. And he's gone. So, what happened last time? Is there gonna be more? There's probably gonna be more, isn't there? There's a little more. <laughs> so a black hole is a little delayed, but you know what? They're like wizards. They don't show up early or late. They're always on time, I'm sure. Guys, you might want to be a little bit concerned about that. I know you're technically cavemen and the only black hole you see is between your cheeks, but <laughs> that is still a major concern. <laughs> so is it gonna start sucking units in? Oh crap, that is not good. <laughs> All the crunch. <laughs> so I'm guessing the more units it sucks in, the bigger it gets? Or is it getting bigger and therefore sucking in more units? I like that in slow motion, I just kind of keep control of things and back it up. It's just a bunch of limbs. <laughs> Even the corpses get pulled in. Oh, right. Called for reinforcements. Uh, 
Guys, you might want to take two big steps back while you can. Spaghettification mean anything to you? Probably not. That is so cool. It irks me to say it, but that makes the Hobbit one of the coolest units in the game. I want to see just how big we can make these black holes, but I, I don't understand what's growing them yet. Is it time? Is it the number of bodies we sacrifice to it? So I'm gonna try both. We've got an executioner who should be able to trigger the black hole here in the middle of what is probably the biggest map in the game. So much so that I can't zoom out enough to show you guys the armies that I've got hidden on both sides. So it should take them a while to get to the middle, which means that the black hole will get as much time as possible. <laughs> you go ahead and chop him, good. Oh. I didn't think about the Executioner going over there and ruining everything for the skeletons. It is growing, though. <laughs> Good. It looks like it is time-based. We're not feeding it any bodies yet, but it is growing steadily at a linear rate. <laughs> it's now big enough that anything could fit inside. Okay, it's kind of... I was gonna say, it's kind of affecting my frame rate. It's just sucking my computer in. This is either going to be a massive mistake or one of the coolest things I've ever done in tabs. And I know that's not the first time that I've said that, but it usually holds true. Instead of putting units that are going to fight at the black hole, I'm just going to put a bunch of bards out there. They should just wander around. They're not interested in fighting at all, so the black hole could just grow indefinitely. Or at least until it consumes the entire map, I would assume. We still need to execute this hobbit in the middle, which is easy enough. Come to think of it, I don't know if the hobbit is actually getting executed. He might just dive and then pop. Just kind of does it himself, but yeah. You see, the bards are none too interested in what's happening at the center of the map right now. If anything, they're running away. Look at how they encircle the stupid squire. They're just taunting him. Oh, you guys are such jackasses. I love it. <laughs> However, that's not gonna last for long. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're now getting pulled in from across the map. They don't have much of a choice. <laughs> that's easily bigger than some maps and tabs now. But we're not done yet because we've still got people along the edge. Okay. I think that's as big as it can get. Let's put that into perspective of a single tabs unit. And this is not a tiny unit. This is a perfectly normal sized unit. Wow. I was kind of hoping to poke my camera into the black hole to, to see what's on the other side of a black hole. Like one of man's biggest mysteries. We have no idea, but I, I could try traveling through it. What if we run this again, except for this time, I take control of the squire. So I'm gonna be you, and I'm just gonna watch this unfold for a minute, and then hop on in. Actually, I kinda wanna see if it pulls me in. Maybe I can try to escape it? If I'm gonna escape it, I should probably go in this way. Hi, guys! Run! Run away! <laughs> You got the idea? I'm not moving forward anymore. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so this is what it looks like to be spaghettified. Well then, a lot more banjos than I expected. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta let go, right? I, I gotta let go. I, I can't, I can't let go. It sucked up the camera. If that last one wasn't a mistake, this one probably will be, because I've also turned on the bug that makes it so that units never die. So if they don't die, is the black hole just gonna grow indefinitely? Will the black hole even start? Can a hobbit die? It looks like it It just pops. Nobody's fighting it, it, it just does its thing. So now they can all swing for the fences. I've got like every special unit I could find, and eventually, They'll get sucked in, but it'll never end. I'm gonna keep my finger ready to hit the eject button because I honestly think I could crash the game or have it sucked in there with it. But this should be the biggest possible black hole. 
I'm gonna see exactly how big we can get it and how much I can zoom out. They're probably all fighting in there right now. <laughs> there we go. Okay, everything is set in motion. How is the frame rate looking? <laughs> Fine so far. I don't know if I can hear them fighting or just flailing. Maybe a little of both. Is it sucking in the map? Why is the map contracting right now? I'm not using the controls to move. <gasps> oh! I didn't expect that. It collapsed in on itself and left us with a pile of idiots. So you're all still alive, huh? Anybody care to share what's on the other side of the black hole? No? Great. The last game altering bug that we have gives all units wings. Thing is, I don't see any wings. It is turned on, but they're distinctly wingless. Maybe they'll sprout as soon as the battle starts? Oh. Yeah, the Da Vinci tank doesn't do too well with wings. <laughs> the horses, on the other hand, do great! <laughs> Look at this! They've got four wings. The rider has wings and the horse has wings. Even the cannon, oh, only the cannon rider has wings. That's not particularly good. <laughs> the Da Vinci tank is making it work. <laughs> you know what? When life gives you wings, you shoot upside down. It's all the extra weird units that I can't help but try. Like, would the dragon get its own wings as well as the pole holders? Or maybe the boat would get wings as well as all of the crewmen? But the people holding it up wouldn't and they could just kind of hold on. I have no idea. I gotta find out. Yeah, the dragons do get wings. Okay, I don't know about the boat. It got incinerated a little too quickly. Fortunately, the rider is stuck in the landing. This is so good. Again, I could make an entire episode about just making units fly because it completely changes tabs. All of a sudden, units that suck are awesome. Here's a big brain 4D chess move for you. What would happen if we give the Valkyrie wings on top of its wings? Would it get extra wings? Would it fly around with four wings? Oh yeah. Look at that, now they're extra angelic. <laughs> Equally useless, but... <laughs> they just kind of screech and holler and rip each other apart. They're less so Valkyries and more so Harpies. We'll end things off with some Da Vinci tanks flying around because you know I gotta see what went wrong. I'm guessing there are wings to the tanks inside? Or is it... Yeah. There's, there's definitely multiple wings. So Da Vinci has his own wings, and then the tank has its own wings, and the tanks are just kind of figuring things out. Being a flying saucer isn't easy, okay? <laughs> just gotta take things one step at a time. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And once again, we didn't get through all of the bugs. We got through most of the ones that are like this, but we still have debug mode. And it's like I said, debug mode is gonna have to be an episode in itself because it just gives you so much control over the battle. You can influence things without using units. You're picking them up, throwing them around, firing arrows, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys wanna see another episode of that or any more of this stuff, more wings and black holes and combinations, leave some recommendations in the comments, give me some ideas, leave a like on the video and I'll be sure to return to laugh hysterically for 20 minutes again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.